So I've had one particular video sent to me quite a few times over the last few days. I'm going to start playing it here on the right, uh, the right hand side here. Now, this video is actually showing the um, London um, New, New Year's Eve drone light show being practiced the day before um, that it actually happened. And this is taken by one of the ULES pages um, on Facebook. Now, basically what's happening here is um, we, we're seeing some of the drones are actually having essentially pretty much the entire time a controlled descent actually into the water, ending up sploshing in the water. Now you can see one there starting to disappear down um, and then they all start to come down more and more. And towards the end of this video, there's quite a few of them that actually plop down. So people have sent me this video quite a few times and asked me if they think it's counter drone tech or whether it's practicing for an emergency landing, that type of thing, what could actually be happening. So I thought I would give some views and we'll keep the video playing uh, whilst we give this, particularly towards the end, there's a particularly large batch of them that come sploshing into the water. So this, as I was saying, is, is the drone light show, which uh, happened over New Year's Eve being practiced. Now, I don't think it will be a practice of their safety system. I don't think they would deliberately be landing the drones in the water. Um, for all sorts of different reasons, not least environmental, but you're just not going to do that. It's, you're not going to control crash something, essentially. You'll have plans for if things go wrong, but that's just not something, in my opinion, that they would be doing. Drone light shows will often, if you look at them all around the world, they'll often be somewhere near water. That's actually one of the common features um, of, of the locations that they choose. And this is one of the reasons is because it does add a bit of safety so that when the drones are taking off and landing, they'll often go out across that water which gives an extra safety and added safety protection should anything go wrong now the drones are actually able to be recovered very quickly because the show organizers actually have boats sitting out um, in the water when i can start that video again so you can see it again um, they actually have boats sitting out in the water that basically go and retrieve these drones they are they're not designed to necessarily be submerged but they can certainly survive it be reconditioned and fly again some in fact there is a couple of the drone light show companies that actually do make theirs waterproof as well um, because obviously again they're able to fly in light rain etc uh, to put the shows on again this is something where the boats will be connected via radios to the base and they'll be able to go backwards and forwards and basically pick up these drones as they drop out of the sky it's a lot better to allow these things to happen to allow this to happen over water than obviously over the land etc so whilst they're out over the water if there is a problem that's when they're going to let it happen as, as such most of the drones until the very latter part seem to be a controlled descent so this isn't the drones failing as such so um, the the kind of error that you're going to see here aren't necessarily anything to do with the software or anything else like that or the drones themselves failing as I was saying but most of the drones actually appear to have a controlled descent until the latter the very latter stages now it has been put to me and um, people have asked could this actually be jamming counter drone technology I suppose it could be but that would probably mean that more of the drones would be, be become uncontrollable and um, what's more likely to happen in that situation is those drones will actually go into a return to home system rather than simply drop out of the sky going by the kind of counter drone tech that you're probably going to come across in the UK. So it's more probably that a fault occurred and the pilot in charge has basically decided to allow those drones to drop whilst it's over the water and essentially it's a bit of a safer thing. So let me know in the comments below, did you watch the, the final show? Did you enjoy it? And also what are your thoughts on what happened here? I'd be very interested to hear if anybody else has any conspiracy theories or any thoughts on, on what's happening here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Sean out.